Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. We've been missing Marvel movies for so long. We didn't have one in 2020. I think the only thing that came out last year uh, connected to Marvel was season seven of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And WandaVision and The Falcon and the Winter Soldier are both great, but I kind of need these huge blockbuster films to come out. Uh, I actually haven't seen any trailers for Black Widow, but definitely gonna watch that movie for this channel. And I'm gonna check out the trailer here for Shang-Chi and Legend of the Ten Rings. I definitely think it's too much to expect this film to do for East Asians what Black Panther did for black people, and I'm not even sure that I want that to happen, but it is coming out at a time, or this trailer is coming out, at a time when hate crimes against the Asians have been so high uh, for so long. Um, so seeing an Asian superhero could be really important and moving for a lot of people if it's done well. Uh, Marvel's recent track record gives me a little hope with Black Panther being such a huge hit. Um, black Panther is one of my favorite Marvel films, along with Captain America, the Winter Soldier. And yeah, um, either way, looking forward to some positive representation in films for East Asians. And of course, we've already had a few Marvel uh, Asian superheroes already in Wong, Quake, and I'm counting Melinda May as well. But never as the lead on the big screen in a big Hollywood movie. And I really love Simu Liu. He's great in Tim's Convenience, the Canadian sitcom. So hopefully this will be good. Let's check it out. Just years and years of wearing it down. Oh, I should try clap push-ups. I've been doing dive bomb push-ups. I gave you ten years to live your life. I forgot Aquafina's in this. And where did that get you? Ronnie Chang! Tony freaking Leung! Oh, people are gonna be hyped for that. I trained you. So the most dangerous people in the world couldn't kill you. That superhero bod. <laughs> it's time for you to take your place by my side. The Mandarin. So he was originally going to be part of the Ten Rings? Part of the Mandarin? Oh. Whoa. You can't outrun. <laughs> Oof. Boy, that was cool. Who are you? Oh. <laughs> He's Shang-Chi. There we go. And the legend of the Ten Rings. Whoa. Oh God. Come on, everybody! Whoa. <laughs> we make a good team! Uh, sure we do, sure we do. Alright. Oh, okay, so... I, I feel like Aquafine is always playing the same sidekick role of the weird and sometimes grading best friend. Uh, she was really good in The Farewell. I wish they'd give her roles with more range like that, but man, I actually got kind of emotional there, even though I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this movie just yet. It looks like the story will be pretty formulaic, but it's just a trailer. Hopefully they take more risks than what we've seen so far. So yeah, I don't know. If you asked me what's making me excited about this film from this trailer specifically, I'm not sure I can pick it out, but there's definitely a sense of hype that's there for me. Uh, I've never been the kind of person who felt like I needed to see people like myself in movies, uh, though I obviously recognize that's necessary for people as a whole. Um, it's actually part of the reason I love Black Panther so much, beyond it just being an incredible film. It did so much for young black people. But yeah, despite my own personal feeling that I don't need to see people like myself uh, on screen as a hero specifically, I find myself getting emotional and getting hyped. So maybe I needed it more than I thought. Uh, we have Tony Leung in this film. I haven't seen him in much, but I know he's a big deal in Chinese cinema. Uh, a lot of people are going to be really excited about this because of him. And we finally get to see more of what the real Mandarin are like. We, I know a lot of people were disappointed at Iron Man 3 when it was just a fake out. Uh, Simu Liu looks damn good. 
uh, that moment at the end on the bus where he punches two people and does like a jumping split kick. Was that really him doing that? Because it's pretty close to like showing his entire face, but uh, he's moving around so much that it might be a stunt double. I don't know though. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm definitely hoping this is a good martial arts movie, obviously. And I'm curious if the film will have anything to do, uh, have anything to say about Asian culture. And it seems like it might take place in like a Chinatown of um, a U.S. city. So maybe it'll have something to say about Asian, Asian American culture as well. So yeah, this movie's coming out September 3rd. It's pretty close. Uh, I've heard it's not coming to Disney Plus immediately like Black Widow will. So uh, even though it might be safe to go back to theaters by then, I'm going to hold off so I can react to this film on this channel. But yeah, uh, really, really hyped for this and looking forward to it. Uh, let me make a pose for the thumbnail. Where is that pose he made at the end? Here we go. Here we go. I'm actually even wearing, well, this color is the same as that color, almost. All right. I can't, I'm trying to get my fit hand, hand in the frame as well. I need back wool. All right. Am I, is this, is this right? Uh, I gotta be more stoic, right? All right, leave a like. Thanks for watching, and let me know how you feel about this trailer. I'll see you guys soon, friends.